County Library, the destination. It's just the beginning. To best serve the Carver County community, the library provides resources, spaces, and experiences that enrich and empower people's lives. No matter if it's a print or digital publication, engaging programs and services, comfortable spaces to study or meet, free wireless connections or the technology to access them, the Carver County Library System is here to support the needs of our community. We're proud to say that our library users have checked out over 1 million items a year, every year since 2009, and we look forward to that trend continuing in the future. Libraries are centers of knowledge and information. Growing with the community since 1923, when the Chaska Library was founded, to creating the Carver County Library System in 1975, we now operate full-service libraries in Chanhassen, Chaska, Victoria, Waconia, Norwood Young America, and Watertown. The Law Library, located in the Carver County Government Center, is staffed by an experienced law librarian and offers computer databases, specialized research material, classes, and events. In recent years, we've added four express libraries in Victoria, Cologne, Mayer, and Carver. The Express Libraries offer convenience for library users by utilizing lockers for delivery and return of materials. Titles can be requested online or by phone. Our website at carverlib.org serves as our virtual branch, providing access to download ebooks, e magazines, and e audiobooks anytime, day or night. Using the barcode number on your Carver County Library card and the PIN code created when applying for your card, you can manage your account search our entire catalog of titles, reserve or renew items, request a meeting room reservation, pay fines or fees, or even request new titles for the library to purchase. CC Lib Mobile is our free mobile app, providing access to search the library catalog, view our calendar of events and classes, manage your account and check library hours. Even download ebooks, e magazines, and audiobooks directly to your mobile phone or tablet. Carver County residents may apply for a free Carver County Library card through our website at carverlib.org or in person at any branch location. After submitting your application, your new card should arrive within 7 to 10 days. There's a limit of five items the first time using your card, and you must present proof of residency using your driver's license or a piece of mail with your name and address. While your Carver County Library card provides access to great benefits, it also comes with responsibilities. Payment of late fees incurred. Payment for any lost or damaged materials. Keeping your contact information up to date in the event it changes. If you have an existing account but have lost or misplaced your card, you may request a replacement card in person for a $1 fee. The Carver County Libraries don't just house books. We provide access to vast amounts of knowledge, information, and entertainment in print and online. We also provide comfortable and welcoming spaces for meetings or a quiet place to study. All you need is your library card to access and enjoy books, magazines, audiobooks, movies, music, and databases. You'll also have access to our facilities, including meeting rooms for the community, public computers with internet access, Wi-Fi access and printing, fax machines, copy machines, and more. If there's a resource or title you need that's not available in our system, you can use the Interlibrary Loan System to see if another library has it available. We provide diverse programs for all ages, preschool through adult. Over 27,000 library users participate in educational classes, lectures, and discussions each year. We even provide gardening, computer, and tax instructors to help answer questions during certain times of the year. Libraries can be an exciting destination for eager young minds. Getting your first library card and discovering everything the library has to offer is an exciting time. The library card is a rite of passage while growing up. To help kids become engaged and excited about reading, we offer programs like Lab Sit, Toddler, Preschool, and Family Story Times. Specific literacy-based story times for each age group. 
Summer Reading. From setting book reading records to performers and book discussion groups, literacy programming, and more, the Summer Reading Program encourages children to keep up their reading skills during the months they're not in school. Story Walks. Pages from enlarged books are staked into trails that young and old can walk around and read. A great intergenerational activity that provides the library with a collaboration with city and county parks. To keep tweens and teens involved, we offer Homework Help, which provides online tutoring, essay reviews, and practice sessions designed to help students improve study habits. And special programming, like Teen Tuesdays, Advisory Group, and Passive Programming, all designed to keep teens engaged in the library experience. For adults, we offer popular programs like genealogy classes, providing instruction on Ancestry.com, Family Search, and ethnic groups coming to America. Small business support, providing access to our special small business collection, providing a plethora of practical advice for all types of small business. And to learn how to use your latest gadget, we offer advice for your device. For those who can't visit the library in person, we offer homebound services. Providing books, books on CD and DVDs, a friendly face brings much anticipated library materials to those in need. We also provide group homes and others with book and reading clubs and manage the hospital-bound Ridgeview book cart, along with many other programs and services. As you can see, we have many resources and programs for you. However, what's most important to us is how the library reaches out to people how their lives are touched and changed. Here are some comments from a few of our customers. We're there once or twice a week. We're there for story time. Um, we're there for um, puppet shows, music, anything that they have going on, any programming. And then we also check out um, a lot of audiobooks and regular books, movies. I'm at the library quite often because both my wife and I are readers. I read more than one book a week, and she does several per month. I went to the library a lot as a child, so I just knew that having four of my own, that the library would be a really important place for us to go and spend a lot of time, because I remember it being very magical when I was a young girl. When were you able to escape for 20 minutes at a time and feel like you really escaped somewhere? And you can do that if you go in there and grab a book or a magazine and bring it home. I really enjoy bringing my kids and I think that uh, it's helped them a lot socially and uh, in school, always get good reports, and I attribute a lot of that to coming to story time. It's, you know, a, a place for all ages, and that's one thing I love about this building. You can walk in any time and feel welcome. It is such an important place for kids to grow up in. The library is an important place, connecting people to what and who they need but as hard as we work, we couldn't do it without support. The library annually checks out more than a million books a year, reaches storytime audiences of well over 15,000, and answers more than 50,000 reference questions. The library is well used because of its passionate staff and its equally supportive county residents, commissioners, and county governmental departments. Over 100 residents volunteer annually for projects and tasks at the various libraries in Carver County. The library is indebted to them. A staff of 66 well-trained and customer service oriented staff members are excited to come to work each day serving the residents of Carver County. A dedicated library advisory board works to provide oversight to ensure the residents of the county get the best library service possible. Each year, the county commissioners decide the budgets, and they have always valued the library as an important component of their service to Carver County. Friends of the library provide library enhancements for their particular libraries, and the Library Foundation provides broad-based support of all libraries in the county, funding services that impact the entire county. The Carver County Library will continue to be an integral piece in the county as we remain responsive to the county's growing population. To do this, we'll be moving ahead in four strategic directions. Enhancing access to content and technology, optimizing staff resources, 
expanding community presence and resources, and transforming spaces and experiences. By following these four strategic directions, the library will remain bright and vital. To access our virtual branch and find more information about Carver County Libraries, visit our website at carverlib.org. If you have questions or would like to contact the Carver County Library, email us through our website or call our administrative offices at 952-448-9395. You may also contact any of our seven branches directly. You can also find us on social media. Search for Carver County Library on Facebook or read and respond to our Twitter page at Carver Co. Library and enjoy photos of library events searching for Carver Lib on Flickr.